There's a few certainties in life, and one of those certainties is that things will change. And that axiom applies to everything, including cruising. Have you noticed the changes in cruising just in the last few years? Cruising in 2023, not the same as cruising in 2019, and I assume it's not the same as cruising in, say, 1974. Carnival recently out addressing whether or not something from the past would be transported into modern-day cruising. We need to address that rumor, and I'm going to tell you five things that Carnival, they, they just don't do anymore. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I am your host, Tony, here to talk you through everything going on in cruising. And today, specifically, I want to tell you about five things that Carnival does not do anymore. But in my research, I also came up with uh, things that, you know, that used to happen on cruise ships that don't happen anymore. This was even before my time, so I want to share that with you. But first, let's talk about the rumor that's been floating around out there that Carnival has recently addressed. There had been rumblings, grumblings, murmurings about a return of the Midnight Buffet on Carnival Cruise Lines. Now, Midnight Buffets, I've never even seen that. That did not exist, at least in my cruising experiences, uh, in 2017 when I started. I did not see a midnight buffet. I had seen some scenarios where there would be some late night food, but the full on all the stations open buffet, which apparently used to be the scenario that did not exist when I cruised. And so there's been some rumors that that midnight buffet experience would be returning. And while Carnival said, no, we are not bringing back the midnight buffet. However, they did say that they would be bringing back a late night food offering. Now, this is just a minimal offering. I'll throw the menus up here. We're going to have some pizza, some hot dogs. This is what I've been used to in my cruising experience, just some late night food. And as someone who cruises Carnival once or twice a year, I think this is a pretty exciting announcement. Uh, currently, when you're cruising on Carnival, the food options kind of dwindle off the later the evening goes. They have a really great deli on most Carnival cruise ships, but it shuts down at 11. Uh, the pizza stays open till 3, but that's sometimes a hassle because the line is so long. Room service is an option for late night food, but it comes with a cost. Everything is a la carte on Carnival right now. So having this late night food option at the buffet that's included with your cruise price, I think this is going to be a plus for those night owls on Carnival cruise ships for people that like to gamble into the evening or go to the club, that kind of thing, and may end up with a little bit of a hunger. Uh, I think this is a good option, but it's, it's not a return to the midnight buffet. Now, I mentioned there were some things that used to happen in cruising that I've never seen because it happened way in the past. Let me hit you with those. Skeet shooting. Did you know that you used to be able to shoot skeet off the back of a cruise ship? Uh, I'm assuming that the cruise ships supplied the shotguns. If you don't know what skeet shooting is, they basically throw a clay target up in the air, you know, I guess out over the ocean, and then you're given a shotgun, I guess, on the cruise ship. Can you imagine giving strangers guns, loaded guns to shoot on a cruise ship? I can see why that went away. Skeet shooting used to be a thing. It's not a thing anymore. Of course, I mentioned it previously, the Midnight Buffet. Apparently, that used to be pretty regular across many cruise lines, that there would be a full buffet spread at midnight. Of course, that's not happening anymore. Cruise Line's offering some version of late night food, but not the full on buffet. Another thing that used to be fairly common on many cruise lines that now not is topless sunbathing. We know that some cruise lines like Virgin still have that option, some European lines, but for the most part, North American lines, you don't have topless sunbathing. Another thing that used to happen on cruise ships that don't happen anymore is they used to have driving ranges on the cruise ship where you could hit golf balls out into the ocean. And I think at some point people realize it's probably not good to fill up the ocean uh, with golf balls. And so uh, that was stopped. And another interesting thing that was stopped under the same guise of not putting things into the ocean, I guess there used to be cruise lines where there would be a ceremony where you could create a message in a bottle and throw the bottle overboard and maybe find its way to some exotic locale where you know the people could connect. Come to think of it, what if you did do a message in a bottle, you threw it into the ocean, and the bottle got lodged in the blowhole of a dolphin? Would they say that you did that on purpose? So those are things from a time gone by. But there are five things that Carnival, more recently, they just don't do anymore. And I'm going to tell you all about those. But first, let me invite you to subscribe. 
If you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising, oh, I forgot the hands. If you like staying up to date with everything going on in cruising, porpoise. It's funny because porpoise sounds like purpose. It's, I gotta clear that out of my head. Please consider subscribing, notification bell on. We're trying to get to 250,000 subscribers and we're slowly getting there every day. We added more yesterday. Welcome everybody who joined yesterday. Sure glad to have you. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. The button's just right under the video window and uh, it allows YouTube to notify you when this hilarity comes out every day. Hilarity, porpoise. Uh, be, join us in this adventure, please. Uh, subscribe, notification bell on. Uh, thank you in advance. You gotta have one per show, right? So those are things in the past. Uh, let's talk about more recent history and five things that Carnival just doesn't do anymore. The first one is a fairly recent change that we've seen sweep across the whole cruise industry. Carnival does not offer twice a day cabin service. When I first started cruising in 2017, the cabin steward would clean the room twice a day. And the way that normally looked is that there would be a full cleaning during the day and then some sort of turned down, straighten up service at night. Like I said, most of the cruise industry going away from the two service a day. Me personally, that's not a big deal. I don't really have any special requests. So a lot of times when I'm cruising, I just say, hey, look, come every other day. So that, that that's working out for me. Not a big deal for me on that change. Another thing that Carnival doesn't do anymore is unlimited entrees in the main dining room. This used to be one of those things that we talked about in 2017 as a fluffy cruiser, as somebody who probably loves food way too much. It was always an exciting proposition to think that if I wanted to go to the main dining room and sample more than one entree, like maybe there was a lasagna that looked great, but I still wanted some steak that I could get both. Now you can still get more than one entree, but at some point they start charging you for the additional entrees. I think the rule right now is you can get two entrees, but if you wanna get you know entrees after two entrees, I believe it's it, it, there's a charge. Other cruise lines are doing that also. It's a different time in cruising when it comes to food waste. That's the that's what we're that's what we're putting it under. We're trying to eliminate food waste by making it more challenging for people to just grab food that they may not eat, which is fair. Another thing that changed, and I mentioned it earlier, is there's no more 24 hour a day pizza. The pizza on Carnival Cruise Line when I started cruising in 2017, you could get that pizza 24 hours a day. And I'm someone who likes to avoid lines. I'm not a big fan of lines, but I am a big fan of pizza. And so to get my pizza fixed, sometimes I would go get pizza at five or 6 a.m. I would do pizza for breakfast. There was never a line. I got fresh pizza. This was a technique that I used to hack the system. And well, the system hacked me back because I don't think you can get pizza at 5 a.m. anymore. The pizza, I believe, stops at 3, and uh, I don't know what time it fires up the next day, but it's not 24-hour pizza anymore. And then the last two things that Carnival used to do back in 2017, 2019, 2020, that they don't do anymore uh, are really around making Carnival Cruise Lines a more family-friendly environment by eliminating some of the more risque, risque events on the cruise ship. The first one is the Harry Chess Contest. This was a fan favorite on the Lido deck, on the pool deck. An assortment of gentlemen would sign up with the sole job to titillate and to excite the female judges by their gyrations and their hairy chestedness. It, you know, it was a little, you know, it was a little racy. The whole idea was, uh, you know, you get a little bump and grind. Wow, I got no moves. But that's what it would be like. Uh, there would be slightly embarrassed women judges and over the top men performers. And then eventually somebody would be claimed the king of the hairy chest. They're trying to be more family friendly. Might not be good for the kids to see, you know, Grandpa Eddie, you know, bumping and grinding on some 20 year old. So that I guess that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's one. And then number two is the quest. The quest is an adult game show. It kind of happened in secret. You know, you'd hear about the quest, you'd hear murmurings about the quest, and then you'd find where the quest was at. And the quest was an adult scavenger hunt where it would start out a little tame. Uh, do you have a picture of a baby on your phone? It would start out tame like that. And then it would get a little more progressively racy stuff like, hey, women, I would like to see a bra, uh, you know, not on a woman. And so you'd have women taking their bras off. And it was one of those deals where they kept it under lock and key. 
you know, no photography, that kind of thing, you know, of the racy parts. And, you know, it was it was one of those things. I, I almost saw somebody full on get into a fight on the quest. I do have a video of that. I'll leave that I'll leave that in the in the uh, first comment if you want to see my story time of somebody almost getting on a fight on the quest. But what we heard, you know, over the last couple of years is uh, it's a it's a gone pecan. It's an interesting thing to me because, you know, uh, real talk here. There's an aspect of, um, you know, sexual tension on cruise ships, right? You have a lot of adults doing adult things. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's it can be, you know, there can be that tension there. And so I think it's interesting to have those little releases. But, you know, if you frame that in the idea of trying to have a family cruise line where there's multi-generational families there, it's probably not the place for it. But I do like the fact that they would have the quest that was adults only where people could go to it if they want. They were very uh, clear on the front end that it was adult, you know, in theme that, you know, people that were easily offended by adult things or racy things, it wasn't the place for them. So I thought the cruise lines did a good job of doing that. But it does not seem like that's going forward. It, or it could be, I guess. And I just don't know about it. But I do believe that the quest went bye-bye along with the Harry, Harry Man Chess Contest, whatever that thing's called. But like I said in the beginning, change comes, change goes. And uh, what we're really left with as consumers is to decide whether or not we're okay with the change, whether we want to continue to spend our money with a company. You know, what we've seen after these changes is, you know, bookings are still up. It seems like the consumers are like, yeah, things change. But just because we're accepting of the change doesn't mean we don't have some sort of emotional feeling about it. And so what better way to express our emotions than in the comments, uh, I would sure like to hear from you uh, these changes. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Is there one particular thing that doesn't happen on cruising anymore that you miss? Uh, yeah, leave a comment below. Thank you so much for checking out the show today. I sure hope you enjoyed it. You can share your support for the show by hitting the like button. And unfortunately, if you do not hit the like button, I will be forced to punish you. And your punishment will be this. Just randomly, next week, maybe on Thursday, you will be approached by a stranger on the street and they will proceed to give you a magic mic bump and grind type experience. It could be a guy, could be a girl, who, who knows? It's just going to be random, but all of a sudden you're going to be at the bus stop and there'll be somebody going, bow, wow, 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 wow. I'm just saying it, you might find it pleasant, but I don't think you will. So you can avoid that by hitting the like button. Nothing wrong. Make sure you check out that video where there was almost a fight at the quest. This is Tony for La Lido Look. Until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.